Hello everyone, this is Yours Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Warlord Liu Bei Let's Play. We continue for episode 10 from turn 78 in the winter season of 205. So last time we wiped out Zhou Min's faction and most of the internal minor factions are wiped. We have Cao Cao and Liu Zhang still as our only enemies. I guess Zhang Lu as well, but this block is not really minor. We still have to take care of them. Uh, the main opponent, of course, is still Cao Cao. And we have a few things to look at before we continue. A few level ups here. I think we'll just pick up his active. It's not that important or strong, but uh, we'll grab it. Hmm. He actually doesn't have that many cavalry unit. Oh, so he's a tad weak. We can help get this army back on its feet. And we definitely want to sign Administrator in Sanku. So, we have a lot of choices, actually. I don't want Shuyo because of the corruption. Usul could work. We get a decent amount of income from a lot of sources, including his high cunning. Xunyo, a little bit worse, but we get more public order. This is the officer who just bounced. He's actually pretty decent too. 50 points of satisfaction versus 83 versus 82. Okay, we're gonna throw him back in here. Where did he go? There he is. And we did say we want to move. A little worried about when these assignments come offline, which they are now, that our satisfaction might have some problems. Don't buy. He's currently not an administrator. Alright, we don't need that. We don't need that. We're still going to focus on corruption reduction buildings first. I believe all the armies have moved. This one's replenishing, doesn't count. As is this one. Uh, we're gonna start triggering rebellions if we keep taxing. All right, I mean, our income's okay. It's not great, but it will have to do. We're still entirely focused on corruption reduction buildings first, and then we'll consider spending on other things. All right, this can go, this can go as well. I mean, their version with the 5% is pretty good, but this is actually not the state workshop. This is a private workshop. So if we could squeeze in a, pri uh, a state workshop, it'd be even better. So maybe we get rid of a building here. Okay, 8k left. We might need to spend it on armies. So right now, Guan Yu's unit's moving this way. Shi Xie's unit's moving this way. They're moving down. They're moving down. And we are going to need a force somewhere over here pretty soon. We'll pick a strategy, a strategist first. It could be Fa Zheng, it could also be... Uh, it's probably Fa Zheng. Wu Su, maybe.
Alright, I'm going to favor Fa Zheng here. And we might actually just summon Guo Si so he doesn't... He's going to continue to have desire issues, never mind, that's not going to change anything. We don't really have a champion, or we do have a sentinel. Mm, that would work. Alright, we're not going to do any javelins. We don't have enough money to give them a real army this turn, but next turn perhaps. It's not a strong army, but we'll see what we can do with it. Alright, 5k left. We still want to develop our economy a little bit. It's going to be a long war, so the building's still going to be important. And if we have empty slots, I think we take advantage of those first. Especially with our cheap tax collection building. Alright, 1k left. Actually, in Delger, there's not much of this. A little bit of commerce. Doesn't feel like it's worth upgrading. Alright. Spend everything. Action Council next turn. Hopefully, will give us some outs in terms of cash. No turncoats. Yeah, it's going to be hard to spy on Tells Hall, so it's probably not possible. No John still is okay with a peace deal. That has become rather negative. I mean, if he was willing to trade with us, this would be nice, but he's not willing, so. I don't see that much of a point in giving him that. I'm surprised factions like Hanfu are still alive. A peace deal? Wow, asking for quite a lot. I mean, we always knew this was a possibility, and then she basically leaves with the items. So we lose the items. And we lost our our heir. At least it was an assassination event. And hopefully there's a chance that she can come back in the future. Don't lie. Gu Yong, I mean, Gu Yong was the Prime Minister of Wu, but Wu is gone, and... Don't really care about Dong Lai. We can force a trade. Okay, we get two income boosts, which is needed. Experience boost, sure. Debuff his army. Mm, let's punish Cao Cao, actually. I don't even know if the Fu debuff is going to matter. But the ink, I mean, yeah, neither is really going to matter for them. It's not expensive. We can mess with them a little bit. Of course, he can return and hit us for a thousand full. 
Uh, Liu Bei losing a wife who ran away back to her former faction. Very historical. Of course, we're depicting Sun Ren's life story here. All right, not much resistance. We're going to just march into that. She went back to Zhang Lu's faction, so maybe we can grab that back. They're going to take this. Pressure is coming here. One of you needs to get over here as quickly as he can. Three turns. Might be a little slow. Okay, at least we have a tier 5 garrison. And if we throw the army out now, it shouldn't be too long for them to get ready. We just don't have a lot of cash on hand. Hmm. Alright, they can't wait anymore. Get to the borders. Still be replenishing, but that'd be okay. Supply situation is just bad. Okay, like, where is the congestion from? This is Tongwu, right? We own one piece of it. So are they saying there's armies in Cao Cao's territory, or? Like, we have congestions here. No one else is in Zhangku. What is congestion? Like, what is it? All right, seems like he's interested in coming towards Ba. He actually has to siege it, right? He has no siege weapon. What should we do here? We should go together. We're going to ignore this. Whatever he takes, we'll take back later. So we have 8k to maybe mount a defense here. Hmm, what unit would be useful here? I mean, cavalry technically would be the most useful if we spend everything on these. 6k, 80... 82k on these. Pretty much all the money. It's actually coming down. We could get the cheaper ones. They're also faster, which is probably more useful for us at this point. We can afford a whole stack of these. It's basically no range options. This position, going, you just have to run for it. Yeah, we're never going to have much supply, but at least we'll have positive supply. I go into enemy territory, go negative, but then we can take this next turn, which is probably more valuable. We lose all six. Plus five. We have to borrow that. Okay, we'll hang on and have a little bit of supply left. That's... They're defending the gate pass. Right, she's not a great administrator.
What can we do? I think we can take the satisfaction hit, drop some corruption. Boost. Guess we can boost hmm, military supplies. I think that's plus five military supplies might be the best thing. There's six. Morale for militia is kind of useless though. All right, let's check to see if everyone is. 28. He's on the field now, so lack of purpose goes away. 30. Man, do we have a better one for him? Not really. I don't think we need her anymore. I think we should actually just fire her. And when both of these disappear, it's gonna hurt at the same time. That's not bad. Right, these are not added to the faction. These are for themselves. This is a faction-wide one. Let's use it where we have potentially high income and low corruption issue, or high corruption of 0% already. Next, 3%. So we're keeping it low in a lot of places. No administrator, which is why it's bad here. This is actually what we want, not those. Okay, we should be able to take some more territories next turn, and that's pretty much all we can do right now. A little bit of cash. It's rough losing our air. It's not like we can remarry. I can adopt someone, I guess. That's the other solution. We might have like a good outsider candidate, like her. Two public water. Minus four food. Not a big issue. All right, we can adopt her, for example. Plus five, she's a better choice. Minus 10 undercover spy. Uh, I mean, if we don't have spies, another 5%. Ooh, she's 10%. We gotta grab her. Shunyul's wife. So Shunyul becomes family too. That's a worthwhile adoption, I think. Oh, we don't have money for adoption right now, but... We should uh, make it happen. 4k. Next turn. It'd be very well spent. 10% corruption reduction. Yeah, we knew marrying Liddy Tree was a risk, but uh, it was one wor worth taking. It was a calculated risk. Alright, we lost all our buffer zone to slow them down, and now they're going to be trying to cross the ANT, and then we're going to try to defend it as best as we can. Oh, 
Oh, he didn't attack bot. Interesting. I thought he was going to go for it. Oh, the wandering army. Ooh, he attacked the port now, didn't he? Uh, uh, fine, we'll let him have it. We're not going to loop him. Now we have to kind of invest to force down south. Oh, here it comes. And, uh, yeah. He targeted Xiangyang, but it was already being taken, so it's fine. I think that faction was in Donglai. Okay, we're definitely facing a lot of problems. Our current income is 11k. We need to adopt. I don't think we can marry kids. If we can, I would just marry her to our son. But that is not an option. Well, she had to divorce first, but we'll adopt her. Ooh, you have a big family. All right, she changed her surname to match ours. Why do we employ you? You don't seem to have anything that really stands out. She's a court character. Well, she's doing a good thing, I guess. Alright, I guess that's why we employ her. Alright, we lost the items that we handed out, so... We're gonna go with this version instead. That would be nice. But we don't have the right armor for it right now. She's worth 5k. Every turn. So investing that first amount. Alright, they're going to have to land. They're not going for this. They are going for Badong maybe? Can they siege attack? They can. Hmm. That is a decked out force. I don't think we can try to force a, a delegate with them. All right, we need this. Maybe Guan army should have ran to Badong instead. All right, looks like we're gonna get multiple forces to attack us. The pressure is gonna be on to fight. Zhongyu得以平息 All right, now he's a better commander. More movement, same heal. Got a farmer. All right, Zhang Fei and Wei Yan's army will take care of these four. He's going to loop over here and take care of these five, technically. Want to use force? Might have to run here. There's still quite a few unit we need to heal up. Yeah, it's way too far, but we're going that direction. He didn't attack for some reason. And they also evacuated. I... I think we actually need to fight this to keep it clean. Hold on, how big is the army outside? Oh, that's very small. Never mind, we don't have to fight it. Save ourselves some time. Didn't even night battle, but that's fine. Infantry got wrecked, cavalry got wrecked. They can rest here for a little bit, there's no rush. So let's see, that's a fine building, but not really. I mean, yeah, tool maker, not terrible. School, go away. Labor, go away. Corruption reduction, please. Percentage food. 
kind of go away here and then we can go regional same slot they have a lot of armies so it's not gonna be easy Alright, he doesn't have to lead. Let's grab this instead. I feel like we should ambush. We should try to entice him to land and then just ambush him. Over here, we'll stay put because we got to use the terrain to our advantage. Uh, 7k left. Should we be investing in more units in this army for Fadro? I think we should. We should also think about what to do here, because this is a long-term problem, or short-term problem. Hopefully it won't be a long-term problem. I guess preferably we actually want people with retinues. So they can just kind of take care of the problem for us. We can just spend the money once. He's back to being administrator. And we'll just take a general. Alright, at least we have someone to balance him. Just to contain him a little bit. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll get way in to come down and fix this. Five hundred left. I think we need the money. It's dropping quite a bit, actually. If we could hit a couple armies, maybe we can buy some temporary peace just to finish up this side. Yeah, this is definitely very easy confederate. We can grab all this land whenever we want. That's also a very easy confederate here. That one we don't really care about. It's a good trade partner. That one actually could be an easy confederate, and we can get a little jump on the kingdom. Maybe the plan is to halt Tsal first wave of attack here, and then we confederate Hanfu, jumpstart a couple army to grab us a, a seat, so that we actually get Imperial units. Because right now the fighting is not really fair. We don't have Emperor seat. We don't have the Imperial court. Okay, they're sieging over here. The ambush work, that's the plan we needed. And uh, we just delegate and crush them. We're on our own territory, they're not. And we get the garrison to help us out. Spread some of that casualty around. Pretty elite force. Um, 2%. That's kind of low. We need the money. Alright. They're going to fight here. We're going to beat them back. I think with the garrison. Also in Kong. Okay. I mean, they have some fancy... They have a lot of cavalry units. That is a problem, because there's no spear in the garrison, and we have no spear here. Hmm. Wu 
心似火，不屈不灭。All right, this is gonna. I mean, this is true B. This is gonna be our true B. Got to hold here. Stop them from getting a beachhead. Although they have land on our side, technically. 坚定执着，我等终将赢得胜利。此城将永远属于我们。Okay, raining is oh, raining is not bad for us. There, there's no way we should defend every single entrance. Although we should make them. Pay for entering. Why is there? Where's your third general? I mean to make their cavalry sort of pay for entering. That I don't know if we're actually going to use or not. We will half defend the inside. This is our mobile force. They're gonna leave. Everyone else is gonna stay and defend. We're going to send you two to block this. Just no free entry first. These guys here, the militia. Archer time. These have the shields. Okay, I should be shooting at them, but I want to shoot. I mean, I imagine the general be here. Could be wrong, but. Where is the guy? All right, we're gonna assume he's not here. They're the most important group. Get them out there. The good news is the enemy do not have range. They just don't. Six v one will take that on. Oh, 
Alright, we want to land a charge, and this unit's done anyways. They're not attacking. Hmm. I mean, I don't mind one bit. Yeah, the weak spearman is going to give our cavalry a lot of problems here. Hmm, maybe we should pull them. Yeah, let the let our elite infantry fight their elite spearmen. He's ready dismounted. That's not a big problem for us because we do actually want to fight the enemy generals on foot. Just make sure they can't really enter to capture. Yeah, the problem now is they have more cavalry than us here. So our cavalry is going to run into quite a bit of issue. Gonna draw him back over here to our generals. Okay, they're not coming from this gate. Everybody here. You two actually go this way. Ah, uh, we got stuck here. Mm, their cavalry wiped out our generals, which is not what we wanted. Yep, we're in trouble. Mistakes were made. I still think our melee infantry will beat the spear. I don't know who will take care of the enemy generals. Before we get charged, circle up, please. Yeah, 
Ooh, maybe we can get some around here. Oh, so close. They started with more units. We only had 57, but still we had two groups. Feels like we should have still came ahead there. That's still gonna come after us. We're. We'll see. At least we can mock one of them for some health damage. At least get the mock off. Okay, good. We still have some interior towers. We still have bodies to throw. The problem is our generals didn't do a great job of killing their generals, and our cavalry didn't do a good job of killing their- I mean, they had better quality cavalry. I'm trying to see if they happen to have Sun Tzu or not. I don't think they do. Let me fatigue them. We got it. Oh my god, we defended. One well, you is close. Gotta hope that there's no second attack this turn. It's possible. Guan Yu needs about two more turns, maybe three. It's gonna be a rough hold for the next few turns. We might have to pull back towards Changsha. Or maybe we score enough wins against Hao Cao's armies that we force a piece, because it was only negative 14 before this. Capture some, capture some, capture some generals, please. No. I guess we have to take replenishment here. Uh, okay, no more this turn. I'm not sure if I want to wipe a wounded army. Because the AI's strength is limited not by their income, but by their army count. Therefore, if all his armies on the field are wounded and trapped, 
But he comf Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll happily accept peace. I don't need to fight Zhang Lu. I didn't do anything, but we still get the bonus. Okay. So he's coming across here. We're not going to overstretch Guan Yu's army. We can lose this, but we can't lose Guan Yu's army. We don't budge. We let him stay wounded. We could get double team next turn. And they could die. And... Uh, aside from this guy, we're okay with it. Alright, we got two more stacks incoming. We're still wounded from the previous fight. We're not replenishing slowly, but we're not replenishing fast either. Let's see if we can fix that. Our guy some weapon. Oh. The mod art with the default armor art is conflicting here and getting weird triggers. That's okay. Uh, she will look bad, but she will have the bonus. We still have to ambush here, I think. With the gate pass unit, we basically don't let them siege us. And then we also can fight them one by one. Wait, are we ambushed right now? Is it because he is right next to us that I can't ambush? Oh my god, get away from me. I guess then we sit inside, let them attack, and then we sally out? Not ideal. Oh, they can they can march now. Even marching though, it's a long journey. Alright, can we go take their last piece of land and peace out with the army? Would be ideal. We can pull it off. Okay, he doesn't have an extra stack there. This has max corruption reduction. We do this. Do we want to build more here? I, I don't think we want to go tall here. I actually want to get rid of that and just go in building here and start downgrading a bit more. What happened to his four armies? Oh, the Yuan clan. Nice to see them here. Especially Yuan Tan, you know. Koro and uh, Taishu Tzu sent their regards. Alright, we finally pick up Shu. Hengdu is ours. Night battle. I don't think we need it. Alright, we don't need it. Let's get some more damage. Alright, now we have Hell of Arrows. Large city, not a bad setup. Corruption reduction. Don't need that. Just replace that with a tax collecting and then we're good. Yeah, he recalled the armies, I feel like. Doesn't have them on the field anymore. All right, under a lot of pressure on the borders. Buying time for these guys to score some victories. Cheap and easy victories. Yeah, I know we have low supply. It does take away ammo from range unit. It does take away replenishment, but it's not fair. Where is the congestion coming from? We're on the road. We're in, 
you know, commanderies that even in commanders that we own, we have that debuff. Yeah, it's just there. Just a constant negative 20 for what I can't see as a reason for it. I should actually help him take this. And then he just goes here, here, and then we just go over here later, because we're not going to reach that in one turn anyways. Alright, our frontline units are just buying us time. Mm, he can lead, so we're in no rush. We'll just take the active. I feel like they actually need units for us to win this here. And then we'll go attack them, get that back. We can throw in someone who could die here. Like, we don't mind dying here. Ah, it's you again. Let's do it. We actually need some spear units. But... They're not going to come super replenished. We can still recruit them. We have the cash for it. I'm not going to give them items, though. Alright, corruption reduction. Same thing here, we can add another one. All right, now we're out of money. We else have do we have another strategist with this? All right, you're working here now. Where's Sankul? Also a decent place. We have no corruption here. And we're out of that particular assignment. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Maybe we can get a military-related one. 2% replenishment, seriously? That's it? 10%, there we go. Seating could be sent here. We have the reserves for it. Neither of them are very happy here, but we desperately need this. Alright, it's going to come down to tribute mostly. Let's see how it goes. Oh, he had enough. can't do much with him, though. I can buy his land slowly. That is true. 13 points. Not a lot. We can try to peace out with him next turn. We take one more piece. Oh, it's going to be more than a turn of moving, though. 
and we need replenishing. Hmm, yeah, I don't think we can do anything about that. Uh, best of luck to our guys. I don't think we have the spare money to colonize, even though we really do want the copper. I think that is just what it is right now. Oh, three stacks? All right, they're doing one and a half back at us. These generals are worn down. One of you will be here next turn. So even if we lose, as long as we do enough damage, it's okay. But hopefully we win. That's a weird sword design. It should be a ring pummel, which kind of is, but they made it angular. Oh, they have siege weapons this time. Ooh, no good. Uh, that's the reinforcement the army we beat last time. Once again, we can't find one of the generals. Tribuche. That is cheating. Alright, all sorts of fancy stuff. Um, we can't really run out this way either because the reinforcement army is coming from there. We can maybe look for a duel. These guys turned out to be quite a waste of money. Um, we'll be pesky here. I think we still want everyone out. I think staying inside with a tribuche, it's very suicidal. Maybe it's better for us to just face that group over there with everything we got. Only this has like a actual charging cavalry, but they might not be coming from that direction. I'll just put it here. Go, go, go. It's gonna wreck our buildings. Oh, this guy is like half invisible. Alright, should be okay. Okay, 
强不屈，动作快点，时机已至，进攻。真是可怜，你根本赢不了我。姑且让你活到现在吧。准备就绪，不要留情。长剑在手，剑士听命。听命？什么？就这点本事？做好准备，准备就绪。时机已至，鼓起勇气，鼓起勇气。All right, we don't need to throw anyone else in. We could stall it out to a draw. I think at this point, because we control this side, they really can't approach us. And yeah, they can burn down everything, we lose 20 morale, not a big deal. Kind of disappear now. Oh, get to kill the enemy cavalry. Yeah, I kind of want to drop that now. We don't really benefit anything with the formation. No enemy range really hitting us. We can maybe kill this thing. It would come at a pretty hefty cost, though. Maybe this group is better at it. Everybody hidden? Alright, they got the inside, we got the outside. And we're pretty happy with that, actually. Oh, they're trying to hit us. I mean, the draw favors us tremendously. What happened to you guys? I mean, we're visible. They're just not coming out now. See Tal Tal's fancy unit, some northern unit, northern Jamajian, elite crossbow, elite. those are pretty standard, nothing too fancy there. No impure, no, like, protector of heaven, lead archers, white horse fellow, got it from confederating Gongsun Zan, I think. Ah, Gongsun Xu, right, that makes sense. Oh, are they finally going to move? Well, now technically they don't see anything. So what, what do they do? What's the AI reaction here? Is, these were the last unit to disappear. Did they just come over here and try to fight them? 
That would be great, actually. I would love to sneak back and capture a few things. Alright, you guys need to stop firing now. Just don't fire. It's not worth it. You're also not hidden. They have no real cavalry unit. They have two range cavalry. Hello. They'll overreact and try to come back. before they actually come back. And then they should just be going back towards the unit that they see. So we disappear. And then the tower can kind of maximize the damage right now. Can't hide. What is wrong with you? There you go. Now they should be going back towards them. And all this time they're gonna get hit. Then we can go take that back and lower them back as well once they leave the range. Yeah, we can't actually take on the full army, but we can definitely loop them around a little bit here. Wear them down. Wait for going to come back. That capture is slow. capturing that back. Yeah, we stay a little too long. That's okay. The basic story here is they can't really take Tribute. Oh, they passed this but they didn't capture it. They're gonna die here. Okay, they're gone again. And now this is the visible unit on the map again. So are you guys not gonna come here and fight them? Looks like they're gonna camp inside. He's dying. Hongsun Xu is dying here. Hongsun Zan's son, by the way. Oh, 
that unit almost got wiped. Oh, the, so the white horse fellows from him. That makes sense. All right, about three more minutes here for this one. See if they decide to go out again. I don't think so. I think they're going to just camp inside for now. The boy doesn't want to fight us either. We can perhaps do a little bit more damage because they don't have a cavalry unit. We can probably get away with like trying to kill the archers. Anything to make them weaker. Hmm, maybe we won't get away with it. See, that's not a real cavalry unit. Kill you as well. She's shooting arrows at us. I don't really dare to dismount here. Uh, maybe we have the time for it. She's not leaving because she's shooting arrows. Could be a quick kill. Oh, hold on. You healed up? Now we gotta go. The infantry's coming. Alright, not bad. We'll take the draw. Bing Chi Lian Yan, Feng Yan Bu Xi, Robu Su Su Liao Jie. Shi Zhe Yi, we will be fighting with the pain, continue to fight. Okay, he wants to fight again. We can delegate for a heroic victory, which is great. We held. Oh my god. Uh, we might have to try to diplomatically peace out with them. Just to save the pass. They pump like, what, six armies in that area? He is just not decisive here. Ah, there goes our trade partner down south. We have an army there, so it should be fine. We wipe them out and then we wipe them out. Okay, all things considered, not too bad. We held over here. They're clogged up over here. 11.3. Okay, so it's still not positive per se, but it's amount that we could possibly pay just to buy ourselves some more time. 
and we can take a few more pieces of territory in the meantime as well. They're probably going to go take this, force them to siege and take another. We'll just kind of follow them and just, you know, capture as much back as we can. They declare war. I don't know what they're going to do to us, but we'll figure it out. We also have to finish up these fights. I think we can take this out and then peace out with them. They become sort of a wandering army by themselves. We will wipe these out and then peace out with him at the pass. I don't really want the pass. And then they can all come over here and help. Um... I mean, they can't last till that long, but essentially the idea is we try to get a diplomatic piece to buy ourselves some more time. They all back away and then we have a little bit of reprieve, uh, set up our forces from the internal problems and have these better set up at the borders. Maybe like they can both each be staring down at one. So next time we start a war, we finish this real quick. When you can be on the borders and we can wipe this out first something along those lines uh, as our war with also continues so hope you guys enjoyed it and see you all next time bye